<laughs> also, you're giving me great blooper material. <laughs> I knew it. I'm, I'm imagining me in black and white and this turning into a blooper and then me like, beep. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Should I do a hair flip? Okay, so I'm here with Sonia, <laughs> aka she's Sonia, aka singer, videographer. You started off on YouTube, right? First, at first, I was just doing videos on Instagram. Like, I would just take pictures of my friends and then edit them in a weird way. Also, my degree like included editing and photography. And then um, after uni, I was just like confused and lost and I didn't know what to do. So I started doing these vlogs and they like helped me like improve my editing skills, honestly, because like I would just like film and then stay in my room for like eight hours to like try to make the edits funny and the transitions like weird. And then I started getting jobs based on the edits that I would put on Instagram, on YouTube. And then with my singing, it was just like, uh, I started, I posted on SoundCloud. Uh, I made the, YouTube, the music video for the song on YouTube. And then this year I just started like posting covers that I make, which I never thought I would do. Cause like, I'm always like original music, whatever. But then it got me into, into like recording again, which I haven't done in a really long time. So I want to uh, just track back to when you were at uni and when you started making um, just fun little videos, right? That's how you kind of practice your craft. Like if anyone came to ask you for advice on like, you know, how do I get better at making videos? Would you say that that's a way to do it? I feel like just like find something that inspires you and then edit through that. Like my inspiration just came from like putting music and videos together and then it just came about that like just give yourself a creative project to do or like a theme or a task in a video and then make it happen it's not a hard process to start especially if you have iMovie and like with TikToks coming out now like editing is such a easy thing to do so when you were when you started making youtube videos were you watching other youtubers out there that maybe inspired you to make youtube videos yeah like i am addicted to watching youtube videos honestly like so many vloggers came out all of a sudden and like their edits would be funny and i was just like watching them and i was like i can kind of do that it distracted me a lot of like, you know, when like you come back from uni and you're like trying to settle in and like you haven't found a job yet. And then it gets right. like really depressing and like you get really anxious and don't know what to do because you're trying to trying to like adjust to being an adult mm -hmm. and being in the real world, but you don't know what to do. So it was like a great distraction and it helped me just build my skills along the way. I want to come to my birthday party. No. A lot of it is trying to figure out this persona that you want to put out, you know, online because yeah. I do feel like, um, you know, as much as people... I mean, feel free to disagree with me, but a lot of people want to stay real, but at the end of the day, they, they're they going to end up putting some sort of like personality out there that is going yeah. to stick. Hi! I'm back to vlogging. I'm gonna be consistent now. That's what you say every time. Every time! <laughs> I do that uh, as well. Like, I'm, I'm very loud on my video. I think than I am in real life. Don't you agree? I would say that, um... It's just a bunch of us having a great time! <laughs> Am I loud? <laughs> Not loud. I wouldn't use the word loud. <laughs> I was really scared that I might come off as someone completely different in my videos. Obviously, there is exaggeration when it comes to vlog because, you know, that's what makes it fun at the end of the day. Yeah. I don't know if you know this actress, Aubrey Plaza. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Parks and Rec. 
I feel like there's something similar about you two, and I don't know if it's the eyes or it's like you know. Nemo, <laughs> you compare me to the weirdest people. First, it was Emma Stone. He he says I look like Emma Stone, which doesn't make sense. Um, <laughs> and now Aubrey Plaza. <laughs> but I I get it. It's like it's like dry, awkward looking at the camera type of humor. ويا نبضي تدق بيا دم دم طخ عقل انطخ I I swear I watch so many TikToks it's it's sick like like I go to bed listening to the songs from TikTok I wake up singing the songs from TikTok it's right. I'm going crazy I swear to god I swear to god you stupid bitch Well I just spent the last for about 12 bucks what so you um, you mentioned um, your music, and I want to discuss your music. So you've got your music video online, mellow. Yeah, I'm trying to be mellow for these ways I just can't swallow. Can we talk about that a little bit? And can you tell me what your inspiration behind that music is? Because you wrote that was it two years ago? Yeah, no? two years Almost ago. Two years ago. Mm-hmm. Well, like, I was kind of heartbroken at the time, and I always, like, write letters to myself and letters to people when I'm upset. Four years ago, I got heartbroken. I just, like, wrote a bunch of letters, and I have, like, a song book, so I just, like, took lines from each page and tried to, like, put them in place to write this song. So I'd record it at home, and then when I get to the office, I just, like, adjust the the audio and like play around in garage band and and then i sent it to my friends and then they were like please you have to post it somewhere and like it got me inspired to make a music video out of it one day me and my friends had like a sleepover and like i made them listen to the song and then we thought of a few ideas of how to do the music video i made it like a pinterest board of how i want my music video to be and there was like an abandoned house right right next to mine and i was like maybe i should just film there i went to the store with my friends and i got like mirrors and plastic bags i don't know i i got like a bunch of random stuff and then placed them around this like vintage this abandoned house and we started filming so it was me and two friends and it was really really hot like you can see me like gradually sweating in the video um and Bahrain is like super hot in the summer so a lot of videos or like snippets in in the music video are from clips that I had on my phone um of that time where I was like sad and and writing all these notes and letters um so I implemented them in and like I edited to make it seem like it was like through a camera I always think of this like when I when I make something like I'm sure a lot of people do this but like the interview of someone asking you how you did this and then you have a prepared answer do you do you do that I sometimes do that yeah but then if I get asked the question I never know how to answer it oh yeah (laughs) like you asking me this question right now I've practiced it like 50,000 times in the shower, but I don't know how to answer it now. (laughs) Like, I'm always like, the way I planned out this music video is that from deep within, like, I felt this, (laughs) I felt this urge to, like, write a song about my broken heart. (laughs) But, no, um, I don't know how to explain it, but. (laughs) No, but I know exactly what you mean. I think all of us think that we're these celebrities in another world yes. like my genius interview and my, like the genius interview that they have with singers yeah. um the one in my head um like this is how she explained the music video okay are you ready go ahead she said um because i like implemented all the like footage that i had in um in like the past and like the past and the future and the abandoned house just like represents the past and how you just want you were stuck in it and you were trying to get out 
And in the end, you were set free. <laughs> Recently, while you were in quarantine, I've been following a lot of your socials and you've been releasing a lot of wonderful music. And uh, um, to one of my favorites, the Nora Jones one, that was, I mean. I waited till I saw the sun. Don't know why I didn't come. I listened to that in the morning and I was like, this is the best thing that, you know. It reminds me of those days where, you know, you would go to school and they would have Feiruz on the on the radio at 7 a.m. Yeah. So it reminded me almost of those days because it's such a beautiful oh God, song. Oh my god, that's so cute! <laughs> how do you pick songs to cover? I've always been interested in how people do that because... You can really pick any song, but do you have like a type of song that you would go for, a genre? I listen to a lot of female vocalists. Voc- vocalists. Cut that out. You know my Spotify, how like I have like a bunch of playlists. Mm-hmm. So every time like I listen to a song where I feel like my voice would match her vocals, I would like keep it on a playlist. For like two years now, any song that I like, I'll just keep it on the playlist. So when I decided to do the covers, I, w- I just went through them and picked like my favorite ones. And yeah, but the Nora Jones one, it was, I was going and searching for another uh, instrumental for a song and then it popped up on the side and I was like, why not? And then I sang that, I sang, like I was singing to the instrumental and then I was like, okay, this doesn't sound bad. And then I recorded it. I don't know why I didn't come. I don't know why I didn't come. I don't know why I didn't come. So would you say that you're, you doing covers for a lot of those songs also sort like inspires you to keep writing your own music and like try to figure yeah. out a flow for you know, new material? A hundred percent. Cause um, recently, like, like I always wrote music, but I would never like find the melody to them or like my voice would just be repetitive. So now like singing other people's songs is just helping me find a rhythm of how to like flow through a song instead of being very consistent and not boring. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, it's inspiring me to write and record a lot for sure. Like I'm going back on old things that I wrote. Like I didn't write anything new. Um, I'm just recycling the things that I already wrote. Maybe when it, like I've had like a creative block for a while, I think in terms of writing some something new. Mm-hmm. But then I have, I have a lot of books. Like if I just show you all my song books, wait, I have to show you. So this is one. This is the one I'm I'm using now. Okay, this is this is one of them. I'm, I'm showing you all of them. Where are all these songs? Okay, right now I just can't find some of them, so now I'm freaking <laughs> out. Oh, okay, I found them. So this is the one where I, when I was like eight, <laughs> and like it, it was like if I just read you one of them, my best friend. My best friend, my best friend, my best friend. We were best friends forever. We told secrets to each other. She was there for me and I was there for her because she's my best friend. (laughs) How would you sing that? My best friend. (laughs) This is another one. And this is like uh, a lot. So yeah, I have so many songs. I just need to record them. You just need, yeah, you just need to let them out. This is the time to do it. You're going to be home for two weeks. Do you have your own setup at home uh, to record music? Uh, yeah, um, not like not a setup, but I have like my desk here. And I just like have my mic next to me and my headphones and I just sit and record. Honestly, all I need is just a mic and headphones for recording. That's amazing. You just don't need, you don't need all that fancy equipment, really. Between making videos and singing, is there one that you would give up? Or do you feel like they go hand in hand? 
I think they go hand in hand because making music videos helps me look for music and find music and get inspired through music and doing music inspires me to look at other music videos and like think of creative ways to do it so I think they come in ha hand in hand and it's also very rare to find people who do both I know that you know like nowadays a lot of creatives are multi-talented in a sense that they can do a lot of things but I feel like in your case, you know, you do both of these things so well that that's even rare itself. Uh, so you, you obviously record a lot of your music and, um, you know, you shot your music video as well. But do you, have you ever sung on stage? Do you get nervous in front of people? Do you get stage fright? Like when I was in high school, I used to perform a lot. Like I joined so many singing competitions and I sang in front of my entire high school. I sang at my senior dinner in front of like my entire class and their parents. But I wasn't, I was nervous, but I wasn't like super terrified. Like I'd get stage fright, but then I'd do it. But that's with like a lot of things that I do. Like I'd, I'd be super insecure in the beginning, but then I'd push myself to do it just so I can feel confident with myself. I haven't performed in like probably like seven years in front of people. Mm. I think I'll be like terrified now. <laughs> Is there anything you do to almost, I guess, like tackle that nervousness? Just push myself. Like even if I'd sound super shaky and nervous and like panicky on stage, I'd still do it. And then I know that like practice makes perfect. So the more... I put myself out there, the more I'll feel better about it. It's like the same as posting my music. Like when I recorded the first cover after years of like not singing, like there was like this voice in my head that's like, no, no, okay, people are going to think it's bad or like don't post it because you don't sound that great. But then I'll, another voice in my head is like, just do it and then see the feedback. And then if you, if you like, how it is and just keep posting and I just kept and then after that I just posted another song like two days after and then another song so like I'm I'm glad that I have this like drive in me that just like pushes myself to do something so I won't have to be insecure about it anymore do you have anyone that um inspires you every day like friends family members like I have my my closest friends are all in the creative industry as well and they inspire me so much just like seeing them pushing themselves and like fulfilling their dreams and doing things that they love and making their career something that they enjoy just like pushes me to know that I I have that in me and I just need to push myself to be better but my friends are are my like inspiration i also saw that you're back on youtube now because you did stop for a while but now you're posting again so are we can we expect some more vlogs soon yeah um i want to post more vlogs like i am recording things i just need to edit them and post them um but like i've just been i feel like my mind is just like everywhere in this quarantine because like I'm on house arrest for 12, 12 more days so I just need to find things to entertain myself so I'm doing vlogs I'm doing music I'm doing TikToks I'm like doing puzzles I'm playing games with my sister I'm watching movies like I'm not giving my mind a break to just not think of things I'm just doing thing one thing after the other well Sonia thank you so much for making me laugh the entire time and also for your words of wisdom i'm sure a lot of people are gonna relate i hope so yeah guys we're gonna get through this together it's it's the perfect time to just do your own thing and share it with the world there's no pressure to create even you can just get inspired watch movies that you like listen to music that you would want to make um just look at things that would inspire you for when we're free <laughs> and we can create.
Let me end it on a good note. You don't have to create right now. All you have to do is just be inspired. This is a perfect time to just sit back, relax, feel inspired, and just enjoy the moment. And then once we're out, we'll fly. We'll fly like birds, birds in the sky. Cut that out, Nemo. <laughs> and that's Sonia. <laughs>